this is the first time I've uh, seen you guys since Christmas Day. Um, hmm, it's been pretty busy. Um, as you can see, I am now blonde. That is probably the first thing you'll notice. Um, yes, I know my roots are still dark, but that's what I wanted. But it's um, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I'm not happy with my hair. Um, it's nobody's fault. It's just my stubborn hair. Um, it's still quite orangey towards the back. I think that clip of me getting my hair coloured, that was like the first clip of this vlog. Um, I think that was like the 3rd or 4th of January or something. It was quite a while ago. Um, but this happened last time. I had my hair done in March. And then two days later, we were in national lockdown. Exactly the same thing happened this time. I had my hair done. And then two days later, we were in national lockdown. So I can only apologise for uh, <laughs> getting my hair done. Because that's probably why we are in lockdown. So the idea was that, you know, oh, my hair's not perfect. doesn't matter. I'll, you know, come back in on Monday and get it sorted again. And of course, couldn't because we were in lockdown. <laughs> So I've been living with hair that I'm not happy with and I don't know about you, I think it goes for everybody, doesn't it? If you don't like your hair, then you kind of lose your confidence about yourself a little bit. So yeah, I have been feeling a bit glum and a bit down. That's probably why I haven't done um, any more vlogs recently, just because I'm feeling a bit shit about myself, do you know what I mean? Plus the fact that I am enormous and I've had no intentions of dieting whatsoever. Like, wouldn't it be amazing if we could just like all come out of lockdown and we're all like thin and glowing and happy and, you know, beautiful skin and... <sighs> anyway, I am okay. I'm just, I think I'm missing, definitely missing work, definitely seeing my mates. Oh really miss them. I've still got some Christmas presents to give my friends as well because we didn't get a chance to see each other before Christmas and it's like, what is it, 21st of January now. So there's been lots of DIY happening in this house. We've had um, a handyman, like DIY man, come out and look at um, our horrific utility room. I'm not showing it you, it's just embarrassing. Um, it's just dumping ground. It's got her pram in there, the tumble dryer, boxes of crap to go to the charity shop that obviously aren't open. Um, it's just awful, really. So we've had a professional handyman DIYer come to have a look at that and, yeah, see about getting it made into a proper utility room. I call it my utility room because that is, like, my dream goal of where I want to be. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it wasn't really, it's not as going to be as straightforward as we um, hoped, really. It's quite damp in there. It's probably going to need to get, like, damp proofing on the, the walls, like, smash it back to brick, start again, replaster, replumb everywhere so I can have a washing machine in there and a sink and stuff. Yeah, it's going to be quite costly. The most exciting thing that's been happening, oh, yeah, that's paint from the bathroom. I've had a bath this morning, but it's radiator paint. I don't know why I ended up putting it on the wall. Probably because it was just, you know, black, easy to use. I'm colouring Laura's hair. Laura is still living with us, which is nice. In fact, it's great. I've got somebody to roll my eyes up when uh, Dot's in bed and Dan says something stupid. She's got black roots and then bleach. Uh covered in faded nasty pink so she looks a bit it's kind of salmony pink because it's faded so much so we're going to sort that out today mm, the baby has been trying loads of new things as well she's had uh pickled onions uh chili con carne and curry so i'm going to insert all those clips now so you can have a really good laugh at dot trying new things okay what we have here is uncle michael's pickled onions <laughs> 
and I think it's time the baby tried one. Hello, Dorothy. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah. Do you want to try Uncle Michael's pickled onions? You ready? Ooh. Again? <laughs> try. Ooh, it's a bit funny. Is it nice? That little piece. Ooh. Ooh, is that nice? <laughs> that is not the reaction I was expecting. It wasn't. Is that nice? Hello, Beeb. Hello. It's a long time since we've seen you on here, isn't it? Look, I've got two teeth. Two teeth, Beeb. <laughs> and uh, what we're we doing today? We're having some curry. Homemade. Mummy's curry. Are you going to like it? Are you going to like Mummy's curry? Let's get your bib on and see. Curry and rice and broccoli. Let's try. Here we go. Mmm. Ooh. What do you think to that? <laughs> Is it nice? Nice broccoli and, well, that was just curry actually, and a little bit of rice. Ready? Mm. You like it? Not too spicy? <laughs> Is it not too spicy? Is it nice? I think we like it, Daddy. Mm. Is that nice? Fantastic. Oh my God. Can we test that frozen baby grass? <laughs> that was a reaction. That was a reaction. Is it a bit spicy? <laughs> Is it a bit spicy? Oh, Mom, she's gonna wait for the biggest I really seat. did try and make it mild. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fan of chili, no? Oh no! Try again. That's sour cream, that. She's gonna yeah. love sour cream. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Nice. It's yummy. I promise. Try some sour cream with it again. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, it came straight back out that. Is it too spicy? She really doesn't like this, does she? Oh, that one went down. That one went down. It's not spicy at all. Is it just different? Maybe? Yeah. Do you want to try a bit of corn? Yeah. Sweet corn. Oh. You like? I know you like sweet corn. Oh. <laughs> you spit your sweet corn out. I think Daddy's going to have to... Iceberg! <laughs> What's going on? Do you want to just plain rice? Plain rice. <laughs> Daddy! This is not going well! Loads of sour cream. It's nice! Test the chip on its own. You can empty that spoon for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she won't even let me put it in now. No! <laughs> She's out iceberg, sweet corn, rice, everything. You're so cheeky! One more, good. Go on, one more. Look, look, look. 
Oh shit. See, that's sweet from the pot. <laughs> beep. You ready? I think I'll beep. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. 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 Tatty. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, it's been building up to this all bloody day. Well, she's not having any of this, is she? No. Hi. Oh, mummy made it special. We'll try again and get another day. morning it's the 22nd of january which means that was eight months old today and i had my birthday a couple of weeks ago 10 days ago um 34 that's like scarily close to my mid 30s <laughs> technically is my mid 30s isn't it actually anyway thought i'd show you the bathroom here it is here it is we've put the radiator back on which we painted with a black radiator paint from Amazon, I don't really know. But yeah, this was uh, all right to do. I wanted it to be messy, but my God, getting to the bottom was not fun. We've removed these two shelves. I wanna get some new ones, but we've got like issues. Cause this here, I don't know if you remember, it had a wooden picture frame around it. Picture frame, skirting board, whatever. So it's proper manky, so I think we're going to have to get something new to cover up that grossness. But then I'm looking on Victoria Plum and I'm like, oh, I could get some black taps, you know, to go with the black this. But then if you get a black tap, you have to get a black plug. You have to get a black flush. You have to get a black tap, shower head, new plug. Like, and it just ends up becoming a lot of money. So... Uh, I don't know whether to get the whole bathroom done again. It's like, you know, it's going to cost us like 500 quid for... An... No, I'll tell you what, it's going to cost 200 quid for some new taps and handles and flushy things and whatever. That's 200 quid for a whole new suite, including the taps and everything. It's like 500 and you can pay monthly. So, I don't know, I'm thinking about it. You know, when you just start these jobs and you're like, oh my God, what have I done? <laughs> anyway, Dot is going to the doctors. I think she's got an ear infection. I'm not sure, but she's like doing this all the time. Like putting a hand over this ear, both of them sometimes. Um, lots of banging her head on stuff. I know that's quite normal, sensory, whatever, but it just seems a little bit out of character for her, so... Managed to get an appointment. Only took me 15 phone calls to get through at quarter past eight this morning. I think my record is 98 phone calls. 15's not bad. Okay. We are back from the doctors. She did have an ear infection, a viral ear infection, which means nothing we can do about it, really. Um, so I'm blaming her having lots of laying down baths, ears into the water. So we're just gonna keep her sat up. I did sit her up yesterday for the whole bath um, while, cause I was like, she's definitely got an ear infection. I'm gonna ring the doctors tomorrow, today. So sit her up. So um, yeah, she said, oh yes, make sure you keep her sat up then. Um, she hated the doctor, absolutely hated her. She was crying as soon as she saw her. But of course, you know, after all the checks and everything, she was absolutely fine. And the doctor was all like, oh, do you like me now? And she was like, yeah, big toothy grins, so. I'm cooking tea. I'm making some kind of dauphinois potatoes, but 
I've put ham, which I made myself on top. And well, like layered. So it's potatoes, ham and fried onions in butter and garlic. And then I've mixed some cream and milk together. <laughs> really healthy. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put a final layer of potato on now. Cream and cheese. Be lovely. <laughs> Because you just woken up. Hmm? Just woke up, beep. Shh. And look, Daddy's cuddling his baby. Oh. Yeah, little scruffy herb. And a little scruffy beep. You've got porridge around your mouth. <sighs> what a ball ache. Like. Anybody thinking about buying uh, a new car seat for the baby? Do not get the Fly Kids one it's a fucking nightmare i'm not kidding we've just spent about 20 minutes trying to get her fastened in and she's in now finally hey yeah oh god it's freezing what a joke hey dan what? we're in new car Hi. no one's seen the new car we've got one finally what is it a 406 big 406 it's massive go on then sell it to us well just buy it i don't want to sell it <laughs> it's got electric windows yeah. cd player yeah. oh here's my favorite thing it's got an armrest both mummy and daddy have an armrest um and it's, lights at work oh, dashboard lights at work and a speedometer that works occasionally we are going out to buy the baby a little bath um because she goes in the big bath and it like it's a lot of water in it yeah it's just for a little person unnecessary water yeah about third that part yeah so we're gonna go buy her a little bath because then she can have it a bit deeper as well yeah. but we need to keep her set up obviously because of her ear infection yeah oh it feels so weird having a baby set up behind us hey. yeah she's enjoying it we are home i just want to show you dot's new uh weaning bowl it's a bunny rabbit shape obviously and the idea is you just stick it down and give it them so i'm gonna have a go tonight i'm a bit scared but we'll see how it goes it's got a suction thing on the bottom so it can't go anywhere all right beeb go for it Yam it down. What? Cool. Is it dinner? Come then. Look, dinner. She's like, why aren't you feeding me? It's dinner. What's in there? Chicken and cabbage and broccoli. Yeah. Carrot and sweet mash. Rusk for afters and some satsuma. You're gonna do it. Should probably roll your sleeves up, shouldn't we? That's your biscuits. You're not meant to have those yet. <laughs> Pop them there. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. Then look. Then that. Nice. <laughs> it's really sleeve up. Mmm, <clears throat> dinner. Well, you just made a mushy mess.
cold. This is so messy. Spoon. <laughs> you get tangerines in your dinner. Well, you've, yeah, but you've taken all the food off it. Can I have that one? Ta? Please, can I have it? Spoon. I shouldn't be wearing my All Saints jumper whilst doing this. You hold your spoon. Spoon. Into the mouth. Mm. Oh, that's so messy. What did you expect? I know. <laughs> but, no, I didn't. No, I thought. I'm glad she's getting her hands in there though because she's normally like, ooh, I've got something on my hands, ooh. But she's straight in there, like. Not much about your face though. Okay, this is what we've got to do from now on because otherwise it's just going to be feed me grapes. Feel them and feed me grapes. Isn't it? Surprise. Oh, chicken. She's got her hands going in, that's good. Dinner on. Dinner. Whoa. Can I have your spoon, please? Put some dinner on it. Dinner. No, no. No. Look, in your mouth. Dorothy, in your mouth. You can Not in your eyes. Not in your eyes. You got it in your hair. Yeah. Your hair. <laughs> oh yeah. Go on, just put that in your mouth now. Well done, good girl. You're clever. You're so clever. Mm. You're so clever. You make mummy so happy when you do that. You do. <laughs> clever. Or did you eat? Yeah. Mm. Are you so clever? Thank you. Ta. God, I'm absolutely covered in broccoli. All right, I think this vlog is long enough as it is. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I have been off for a month. Sorry about that. And uh, hopefully I shall be back to doing my weekly vlogs. Thank you everybody that messaged and were like, where are you? We're a bit worried, we miss you. <laughs> um, it makes my day when you message me. So please do feel free to add me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. It's all or underscore Suze. 
um, come chat to me. I love getting to know you. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.